Uh, I'm going to try to show you how to solve a, uh, well, how to go through a whole definite integral problem with the area between curves. So the first thing I need is um, insert a graph, and then I'll graph x squared minus 8x uh, minus 1. Let's see. All right, so that's uh, like that. Maybe I'll zoom box that. Menu, window, box. Let's say I go from here to here get something pretty decent looking. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do is graph another function. So let's say uh, graph uh, about 1 plus uh, x over 5. All right, so now I need to find some intersection points. So menu, I could do uh, analyze graph and get intersections. Uh, but since there are only two, and I want them both, I'm going to do intersection points from the uh, points and lines. Select graph 1 select graph 2, they all pop up. If you don't have enough decimals here, you got to find the video about changing that and uh, make sure you change it uh, system-wide rather than just uh, for the document that you're in. So I have these, I'm going to store them, so I want to store the smaller one as A, so I'm going to click there, go to control, and then press var, that's the store menu, store that as A, and I'm going to click here, uh, control store as B, Okay, so that's why you're going to want to use different problems, right? Because if I add a new problem, uh, A and B will be undefined, and I can go through this whole process again. Uh, now what I'm, I'm just going to notice that graph F2 is above uh, F1. So if I go back to uh, this calculator page, so control and then to the left, what I can do now, if I press A, I get that, and uh, in the var menu, you can see A, B, F1, and F2 are all defined. So now what I want to do is the uh, area between those two curves. So definite integral. So down here in the templates, I get that from A to B. And then uh, F2 was above. So F2 of X minus F1 of X, because remember, it's top take away bottom. And then DX, fill all that in, press Enter, gives me the value that I'm looking for, uh, which is, is pretty handy. Um, I don't ever really use it, uh, but it is, I guess, technically possible to find this on this page if you go to menu and then measurements actually uh, nope analyze graph yep uh, there's an integral option the problem is it doesn't do the integral uh, between graphs so let's see what I can do I am going to insert a new graph and then I'm actually going to graph f2 of x minus f1 of x and I get that, let me rearrange a little, I get it so I can see it more, so I squeeze that, go to menu, box, there to there, and then if I go to menu, analyze graph, integral, uh, lower bound is, uh, well, I'm gonna put there, and then there, and then it'd be really nice if I could uh, drag it. Ideally, I would get this perfect, which I'm going to in a second. So I kind of drag those a little bit. If I uh, control click on that and get coordinates and equations, and uh, control click there and get coordinates and equations, what I can actually do is I can type. Uh, I can type a here. I might not be able to do this. Oh, I did, and it moved it to uh, the value stored as A, and I can type B here, moves it there. That's uh, really nice, actually, I think. Um, and then it kind of shows it. Disadvantage was I had to graph F2 minus F1 uh, to be able to get that, but you can see that I got the same value, um, although not as many decimals, uh, which I don't really know why, because I kind of have it set to show a lot of decimals, so maybe nothing I can do about that. I don't know, but... Uh, Anyway, I hope you find that helpful if you didn't know what you were doing, um, or as a review if you did know what you were doing.